welcome or welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I said that I wanted to use one of two highlighters. I didn't end up using either of them. And today I'm really determined to use the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Deep Freeze. So I'm basing my look today, or I'm trying to base my look around having a really blue highlight. Keep in mind, I have never used this highlighter, so I'm just kind of guessing on how it's gonna look. I have two new palettes to try out. I have JSC Beauty Killer and Androgyny, and I'm not really sure on which one I wanna use. I've taken a lot of time to look at these, and Androgyny has these bluish colors, but they look kind of dark, and at the same time, this one has still a blue, I'm just not certain. And I don't know if I want to use both because I don't know how they look together. Maybe I could use those three blues, but I still like need other colors. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the blues and hopefully it works out. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Now that I'm done priming my eyes, I also got the James Charles brush set. However, I only got 10 of the brushes. It's supposed to come with 13, so I'm missing three. An email was sent to more of you so that um, we can hopefully get the three brushes, but I'm going to try to use some of these today. And I'd also like to say, very tired today. Today's not one of my greatest days. So if my video is a little, a little eh and lackluster or lack enthusiasm, it's just because I'm really tired. I'm just not in a great mood or feeling today. I'm going to first take the shade Shallow, which is the darkest blue. For now, I'm gonna take that on my Morphe 431 brush, which is not part of the James Charles set. Right off the bat, it's a little bit bluer than I expected it to be. Like, I kinda of thought it was gonna be navy-ish, not as blue. It's really pretty, really dark. I don't usually go for dark eye looks. I'm actually gonna do both eyes at the same time because I'm not gonna have motivation later to do them. I am now going to take my Morphe M5 zero six brush which is in the james charles set so this is a new brush and i'm going to go into the shade poison i hope that's l as light as i think it is and i'm going to use that to blend out the shade swallow this is cute this entire look is going to be way 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 darker than i had hoped it would be really starting to get worried on how this look's gonna look to get that a little lighter hopefully i'm gonna go in with the color safe word which is this tannish shade there and hopefully i can blend out the edges and it's not so harsh like this i'm gonna go in with the morphe m433 brush which is also part of the james charles set i really hope that this shade is going to help dull how dark the edges are and how dark it is just in general i really i don't know why i thought that the shade poison was actually gonna appear much lighter it's just not though that tan shade that I'm using right now is a little bit dark for what I'm using it for. I am going to, however, continue. This shade is so much lighter in the pan than it comes off. Like, look at how dark that is and look at how light that is. That is just kind of a really big difference. I'm gonna go in with the shade Androgyny. I'm gonna do something way different than I originally thought I was gonna do. I'm gonna take it in this corner here and I'm gonna form a little triangle. And I'm gonna fill in that whole little tiny section there. Pretty color. And I'm going and I'm gonna blend that into the crease, into that shallow, swallow shade. It's swallow, I don't know if I've been calling it shallow. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Morphe 506 brush again. I am going to mix the shade Androgyny and Safe Word, that tan shade, together and try to blend up. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, this color story just isn't for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Beige to try to fix what I'm doing here, if that's possible. I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M32 brush, which is my little square brush, flathead brush, and I'm just going to make this a very straight line. I think maybe I liked the idea of this palette more than I actually liked the palette itself. At this point, I'm no longer mad about the, the blue tan blend. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side. Looks better on this side than it does on this side as of right now. All right, well, I'm definitely having trouble blending a lot of this. I'm having trouble getting a seamless blend. I don't normally have trouble that much with Jeffree Star Shadows. All right, so in my last video, I used the technique of taking off the makeup before I cut the crease. I'm gonna do that again today.
that worked really well on this side. Let me do the same for this side. I know I keep saying it, but if that tan shade had been much lighter, I would have been able to do more with this palette. I'm going to go ahead and put the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to use the Morphe 124 brush, which is in the James collection as well. I think he said he uses this to cut the crease and it's like perfect. I may be wrong. This brush is really soft. Looks pretty good. This brush is really nice for that. I really like it. It's very easy to use. I'm gonna go back in with that androgyny shade and just lay that right over that seam so it looks seamless and not choppy. I'm starting to like it more now because my attention is not drawn as much to this outside stupidness. I'll go in and cut the crease and stuff on this side after I'm done with this just because I noticed that it's gonna bleed so I need to do this quick. I'm going to take that Morphe uh, M166 brush, which is the one in James's collection as well, and I'm going to go into the shade Frosting, which is the gold shade, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. Wow, this brush was really nice for that too. Something about this shadow that I'm realizing already. In shimmer shadows, I tend to wipe to pick up pigment, and this one, when I wiped it, like, there, you can see the little dots in it. I'm not sure what you call that. It like got powdery kind of. Not really. I'm not sure how to describe what happened there. It was a little bit funky. Wasn't what I was expecting. This shade, however, is beautiful. I'm gonna go back in with that blue to make this line more defined because I got some gold on it. Mmm, I really like that. Now I'll go back into Androgyny and blend out the side. Go back in with that same brush I used for the glitter shade or the shimmery shade. Trying to get this to blend. Not having the best of luck. I'm gonna table that for now and I'm gonna go to this eye. Wow, this brush is really perfect for this. Ugh, I thought the brush I had was good, but no, this one is just, it's just so much better. Thank you, James. I would have never had known that this could be even easier than it already is. I mean, crook creases aren't super hard once you get used to them, but actually, wow. Also with this gold shade, the shade frosting, a little goes a long way is also what I'm realizing. This look got so much better when I cut that crease because it takes away from what I don't like about it. I just have to praise this brush one more time because I know I'm gonna forget to mention it at the end of the video. That Morphe M124 brush, absolute perfection when cutting the crease. Everybody needs this brush. I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. So what I could have done and what I should have done is went into Beauty Killer and grabbed China White because that would have been a way better shade to blend it out with but I didn't want to mix palettes because I really want to give each one their highlight, you know? So I'll be using this maybe next time instead of this time. I want to do my underneath shades. I'm going to take the shade Fetish. May regret it, but I may not. Onto another one of the James Charles brushes, the Morphe M508. It's the little teeny tiny smudger brush. I'm just going to take that on this. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's powdery. Interesting. Real powdery in the pan. Wow. What I kind of like to do underneath the lash line, which I don't talk about very much, is in the outer corner I like to make it a little bit thicker and then as it gets towards the inner corner, as it gets to the inner corner I like to thin it out a little bit. This brush is working really well for this as well. I really like this color underneath here. I want to take that Morphe M433 brush I was using in the shade Safe Word. I'm just going to clean it off a bit and then I'm going to run it underneath here to make sure that the line's not super harsh. On both sides not taking any new color just using the fluffiness of the brush i kind of feel like cleopatra -y. this is definitely not a look i would do on a normal basis now that the eye look is complete i'd like to review the brushes that i have because i didn't get them all hopefully i will get the rest of them soon the brushes that i did use were the morphe 433 brush i don't know why i keep saying morphe but the 433 brush the 508 brush i did use the e62 brush it's the angled nose contour brush but i used that before the video started i did use this for my nose contour the m166 brush the m506 brush and the m124 brush and overall i like these brushes a lot these will definitely be brushes that i will be using a lot in the future they're just really nice they helped me blend very nicely for the most part uh the other brushes that i didn't use i'll have to use in a different video but i did like them a lot as for the palette love it it's not super for me per se the color scheme. It's a little bit more muted and darker than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit brighter, I guess. Still a very nice palette. I still like it. I still created a look with it, and I'm not horrified by the look. That being said, 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. For my waterline, I am using the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. It almost looks green. Like the gold kind of makes it look green instead of blue. That defeats the purpose of my blue highlighter. I'm doing it anyway. I have been determined since I got it. I got it like a week and a half ago. I'm going to take my highlighter brush that I got from the Bretman Wet n Wild collection. I'll link that video down below if you haven't already seen it. Go ahead and check it out. It's created a really cute look. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Prep and Prime spray and I'm going to spray my face. And then I'm going to wet my brush so we can do a wet highlight. I missed my face. This watermelon spray is really nice. Let's do it. Dipping in. Oh, it looks so pretty on the brush. Looking pretty. On camera, it's not really reading blue. Gorgeous. The blue. I'm picking it up here, like I can see it here. I might insert a clip with my phone later so you can see that it's like blue. Because you can't see it as well from that far away, I guess, for the blue. I love it. I have overdone it with the highlight, I think. They say when you do that, you should grab your blush blush, your brush blush, your, your blush brush. <laughs> and like dab in it's really pretty that is blinding the only thing is that looks really weird from the front taking my fan brush trying to blend that out yeah that looks really weird from the front like it looks like i have blue lines and they're not even even lines this is going like this way this is going like this way like for picture purposes this is awesome for art purposes this is awesome but for like everyday life, if you look straight on, it looks weird. Like I tried to fix it, but look, we got just blue lines. Not mad at it. I also went in there pretty heavy. If I didn't go in there so heavy, it'd probably look a little bit different. All right, and for my lips now. For my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star, the Low Liquid Lipstick, and the shade Androgyny, of course, just to match the palette because that's the palette I use today. lips aren't perfect but they're gorgeous this lip really just glams up any look i should really do this more often i feel like this is a really good fall time look i know that's not the season we're going into but that's how i feel about it it's a good fall time look minus the blue highlight it could have been any other color probably would have worked out better if it was any other color Cause like I said, this blue kind of turned into like a greenish kind of color is what it looks like right now. So the highlight didn't make any sense, but what are you gonna do? Thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate all of your guys' support in watching my videos. Go ahead and comment down below anything you'd like to comment, um, anything you'd like to tell me, any looks you'd like to see me do with any of my products. And go ahead and like the video if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I am posting every single week to the best of my ability as as much as I can. I really love creating looks for you guys. I really love reviewing products and I've got an endless amount of makeup. I'll never run out of things I couldn't possibly do. Just to recap, I really enjoy all the products that I use today, in case you were wondering. If you have any questions about them, you can go ahead and comment down below. This highlight is really throwing me off. It's really weird looking, but bye guys.